Hello guys, it's been a while since my last video, but today I have some good news. I've got some fancy thing that I made, um, I started to make it uh, yesterday, I guess. And it is an Arch installer script, but uh, you might say there's already a bunch of them on online, so what's so special about this one? Um, I don't even know. <laughs> I, I just made it myself, or more or less, I mostly took a lot of code from um, Bugs Writer's Arch Linux Magic install script here on GitHub. So yeah, Arch Installer SH, I took a lot of inspiration from here. So yeah, this is the repository on my own git server, git.jamarco.ga. And yeah, now it's just a very simple readme because uh, this script is still very much in development because I repeat, I started working on it uh, yesterday, so it's still kinda um, in its early days. So I really need to continue working on it and polishing it down, although most stuff is fully working, I think. Um, let's actually get into it. So this is the script itself, and uh, so yeah, this is that just the shebang, the bash, uh, some comments, uh, and then the intro text, just the logo, G-A-I-S, Gaze, well, that's kind of an ambiguous uh, pronunciation for this name, but it's Gianmarco's Arch Installer script, copyright 2021, GPLv3, uh, etc. So, uh, this is the main part, the main installation. So, it says starting the main installation, and then it, it runs the reflector command, so it will take the uh, the best 20 mirrors uh, in Italy for um, Pac-Man, so it will save them to etsy pacman.d mirror list. Um, then it will execute a sed command onto the pacman.com file to enable parallel downloads, uh, so 15 parallel downloads. Uh, then it will load uh, an Italian keyboard key map, so of course, um, since this script is on my git server, you can just edit the code and adjust it to whatever you need. So, if you're, if you're, for example, if you're from the US, you might want to change Italy to US um, and then uh, load keys uh, instead of IT uh, and US or whatever. Then, time that CTL set NTP true will uh, automatically set time and date according to your location on the internet. Then, we get this new block. Uh, that says lsblk, so this will show you um, your uh, all of your connected drives. Then it would say, you'll be asked for where to install your OS. Make an EFI partition, minimum 300 megabytes, if you're on UEFI. Optionally, a swap partition, minimum 512 megs, and a root partition, uh, rest of the space. If you're on a traditional BIOS MBR, make a 1 megabyte BIOS boot partition and a 256 megabyte EFI partition. For more info, go rtfm at wiki.archinux.org. Of course, I got a, 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 a to like analytics because I use Arch, by the way. <laughs> um, then type drives slash partitions are as full paths, e.g. slash dev slash sda or slash dev slash sda1. Okay, so it will ask you for uh, the target drive. So um, you have to type in, for example, slash dev slash sda. Uh, so this will open that drive in the CF disk. So you have, you'll have to make the partition scheme uh, from there, uh, according to what it says here. So if you're on UEFI, do these kinds of, of partitions. If you're on traditional BIOS, mix these two instead of the EFI. Um, I might actually update this description because it's not really um, all that well written. Um, then we get this other block of uh, commands, lsblk, so it will show the block devices again, and it will uh, ask for the target root partition, must be formatted, so make sure you have nothing important on it. Okay, so uh, you'll have to type in slash dev slash sda3, for example, so that's gonna be your root partition, and it will format it, uh, even though um, it's probably just uh, already formats it in CFDs, but um, it just does it again, just to be sure. But um, I might actually remove this, since you do everything with CFDs anyway. Um, then on this new block it says, did you make an EFI partition for UEFI? Why? And so you'll have to answer uh, why, and it will 
um, ask you uh, what's the partition, so you'll type in slash dev slash sta1, for example, and it will format it accordingly. Otherwise, if the answer is no, it will just skip ahead. Then it will ask, uh, uh, did you make a swap partition, yn? If, you, if yes, you will have to specify it, like for example, um, slash dev slash sda2, otherwise it will skip it. Then uh, mount partition uh, slash mnt, so this will actually mount the uh, the root partition on slash mnt and then it runs the packstrap command to install the base system so base base devel linux zen linux zen headers because uh, instead of what it says on the actual EKJ, i just decided to go straight ahead with the zen kernel because it's my preferred kernel but of course you can uh, choose whatever you want then it will generate a file system table in the proper directory then it will um, this new block it will copy uh, the contents of the configuration part uh, into a new script so that it, it will uh, ch root into the newly installed system and uh, automatically run uh, the second part of the script. So this is the second part of the script starting the configuration so it will update the it will refresh the databases and it will install sed uh, and it will enable um, parallel downloads again uh, because uh, the first one did it on uh, the Arch ISO, not on the actual installed system. Then, in this new block, it will um, make a link for the local time, so I set my, um, uh, my time zone to Rome. Of course, you have to change this uh, to accordingly to where you live, and it will set the, the time and date. Then on this new block, it will um, generate the locales uh, according to my language, in, in this case Italian. Of course, you'll want to change it um, uh, according to what's your actual language. And same thing for the key map, so for the default keyboard layout. Then in this new block, it will ask you for a host name, so you'll have to give uh, your computer a name and it will uh, just put it into Etsy hostname, like normal. And it will also generate uh, the host file. Then in this new block, nk init cpio capital P. Uh, I never really understood what this did, but it's on the Arch Wiki and I suppose it's important. I guess it init uh, configures some stuff for the kernel or something. Then it would say, you will now be asked to input a password for the root user. So you'll have to set a new password for the root user. Then uh, pacman no confirm grub, efi boot mgr and uh, osprover. So this will install grub and uh, it will ask you, did you make an efi partition for ufi again? Um, so if you say yes, it will ask you for the partition and it will uh, configure grub accordingly. So it will install grab uh, as uh, UEFI. Otherwise, if the answer is no, you'll have to enter the boot drive for MBR. Now, this is important because you don't have to type in the, the partition. You have to type in the actual drive from which you want to boot. So it could be, for example, slash dev slash SDA. So no SDA 1 or 2 or whatever, just SDA. Um, so it will actually install it. Um, then it will uh, um, just set the grab timeout to zero, so there will be no wait for uh, grab to load to, or to like auto start. Uh, although, uh, of course, you can change this, and then it will um, deploy the config to the actual uh, boot partition. Then on this new block, uh, it will install a bunch of things. I decided to just install uh, KDE Plasma and some applications. Uh, that I like. Of course, you'll have to change all of this according to what you want. Then this pacman-r pulls out here is a bit weird because it's... Uh, again, this script is not complete, so uh, there are going to be errors and weird things happening. And this is an example of that because uh, since I wanted to install pipewire-pulls, um, it conflicts with pulls audio and I wanted to install Pulse Audio first, but then it, uh, it's required by some other applications, so I, I'll have to restructure this block here of Pac-Man commands. Um, so yeah. Um, let's go ahead. Systemctl enable network manager, so this will enable the network like uh, Wi-Fi or uh, Ethernet or whatever straight away. Then, uh, this is special because I've decided to install Duas 
um, and use it uh, instead of sudo. So um, this uh, just uh, creates the device.com file uh, by giving uh, all users in the will group permission to elevate as root. So of course if you just use sudo you might want to replace this with uh, whatever command uh, like echo um, will uh, all uh, co column all or whatever. Then create your own user account. It will have administrative privileges will. So you'll have to type in a username for your new account which will be added to, to the will group. So of course it will be able to elevate us through to us. Uh, then it will add the user to the group and it will also configure uh, ZSH. Uh, so because I decided to install ZSH, um, which means that this is going to be the default shell, of course you can change that, you can remove this piece, this dash s uh, parameter altogether and it will default to bash. Then it will ask you for the password and then this command here run user is um, yet another experimental thing that doesn't really work because I wanted to make it come with yay pre-installed but um, I can't really compile with make pkg uh, as root so I wanted to run this command uh, all of these um, as the newly created user uh, but I have some, I've had some problem with this so yeah I also wanted to install some stuff with yay as the normal user because of course you can't do that with root uh, so and it doesn't work so I'll have to change this as well and then uh, the installation is pretty much finished, it will say installation completed, you may now reboot into your freshly installed Arch Linux. So yeah, this is pretty much it, this is the script. Uh, overall it's really simple, uh, there's not that many, yeah there's a lot of commands because of course installing Arch isn't really um, not an easy, I don't mean uh, not an easy process, but uh, it's kind of time consuming, so these are all commands that you would have to type in yourself in the TTY, uh, but yeah, this script is supposed to automate uh, most of most stuff by reducing the manual intervention to just the uh, essentials. So yeah, this is it. Um, this is, this is my script. Again, go to my uh, repository here on my own Git server. I'm gonna post updates in the following days or something. And yeah, pretty much that's pretty much it. Also, check out uh, Bugs Writer because um, again, I took a lot of inspiration from his own script. So you, you might uh, look at this and say, oh, 70% of what you wrote is actually taken from here, and that is absolutely true. Uh, but I'm legally allowed to do that because he didn't license uh, his stuff, uh, his repository here with anything. So I even like created him. Uh, here and uh, inside the script itself, as you can see here in the comment, inspired by Bugs, uh, Bugs Writers, Arch Linux Magic. So, um, yeah, I'm not really stealing anything, I hope. Uh, anyway, uh, this is it, thanks for watching.